Most people are using Cloud Code wrongly when they're trying to set it up for established projects. Here are the three basic steps you need to take to ensure that you get the most out of Cloud Code when integrating it with large code bases. And note that these are only the basic steps, so follow for part two of this series. The first step before you do anything is to run the init command to generate a base CloudMD file for your project. This will prompt Cloud Code to search and document different areas of your project and we're going to use it as a base for the next step. Secondly, we're going to build an in-memory context of the code base and use it to update the CloudMD file. For this, you're going to give Cloud Code this prompt. Take a look at this code base and determine this information. What are the entry points of the project? What is the project folder structure? What technologies is the project using? Where are the tests located? What are the coding patterns? What custom commands and scripts are used in this project? Then use this information to write a comprehensive report on the code base. When it's done inspecting the project, rerun the init command using this prompt. Update the CloudMD file to reflect everything you know about this project. Thirdly, compact the context using this command and then give Cloud Code the following prompt. Given all you know about this project, find subfolders where CloudMD files would be useful and think what information is worth adding to these files. And after that, ask Cloud Code to create CloudMD files in all of these locations. Now you have a basic configuration, but you'll need to add a bit more if you want to be productive. For that, make sure to follow for part two of how to use Cloud Code with established code bases.